Mr. Toto's Library, written and illustrated by Ellie Oat. Once upon a time, there was a small island in the middle of the sea. The island was covered with jasmine flowers. People on the island gathered jasmine flowers to make sweet jasmine perfume. Jasmine flowers smell sweet. They make us happy. The people worked with pleasure. A large ship came to the island twice a year. The ship carried jasmine perfume to the other countries. None of the people had ever left the island. One day, one of the passengers got off the ship. Hello everyone, my name is Toto. Everyone should greet me in a friendly way. All the people bent their heads and bowed to him. Mr. Toto didn't stop boasting of himself. I know everything. If there is anything you want to know, just ask me. The people didn't ask him anything. They didn't know what to ask. They gave a big party for Mr. Toto. Mr. Toto stood on the platform during the party. He began to talk about nature and poetry. All the people attended Mr. Toto's speech. But nobody could understand him. One man asked Mr. Toto, Why do we have to pick jasmine flowers only at night? Mr. Toto explained using all kinds of formulas and strange marks. Everybody was getting bored. I don't know what he's talking about. One by one, they left the party. Mr. Toto was very disappointed. When he went home, Mr. Toto thought about the problem. I wonder why they don't understand me. I should learn about this island, and then I'll figure out what the problem is. He began to read many books about Jasmine Island. Mr. Toto read more and more books. Soon his house was filled with books. Oh my! I need more space to keep my books. He got three more houses to put his books in. People began to be curious about Mr. Toto. The ship is full of books for Mr. Toto. Why does Mr. Toto need so many books? The curious people gathered in front of Mr. Toto's house. They called out to him. Mr. Toto! Mr. Toto was surprised and ran out. He welcomed them to his house. He was very glad to see them. The people looked around his houses filled with books in wonder. Wow! Your houses look like jasmine flower fields made of books! They exclaimed. Soon, they began to read the books. Mr. Toto gave them interesting books as gifts. Come to my house and read books whenever you want. After that, the people called Mr. Toto's house the Library of Jasmine Flower Island. 